no place on the face of the earth has any appeal to me when compared to this, my island home. You can hear it in the rich accent and the passionate way the Tangier Islanders talk about their community. Deeply rooted in the belief of God and country and survives on the bounty that local watermen catch from the Chesapeake Bay. Without access and safe access to their uh, harbor and to the sea, they can't uh, do what they, uh, what they have to do to get the income and the food in here to the island. Since 1996, a plan to build a jetty to protect the navigation channel and harbor has been in the works. However, due to a lack of available local and federal money, that plan sat dormant up until this past summer. Thanks to a cost-sharing agreement in which the Commonwealth of Virginia is taking on the financial role of local sponsor, the long-awaited jetty project is moving forward. We've all agreed this is an important project that's critical to the future of Tangier. It's a real boost to the community, uh, very encouraging, and uh, it, it's, it's just what we needed. The new jetty, expected to be complete in 2017, will block direct wave action on the navigation channel and harbor, as well as protect the watermen's vessels and gear from sheets of ice that get pushed in during the winter months. That protection used to be in the form of a natural barrier, a spit of land that is no longer in place. Over the years, that spit of land that used to protect the harbor and the channel is gone. Erosion uh, has taken it away. Tangier is my home and I love it, you see, but we are slowly washing away. For the residents of Tangier, the restored protection means watermen in this quaint Chesapeake Bay Island community will have a little less to worry about in terms of damage occurring to the fleet. It means uh, being able to remain out here and uh, preserving our way of life. From Tangier Island, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood.